Hello, Mr. Gazda here. Today we're going to do um, uh, density and floating in water. This is a fish tank of water. Water has a density of 1.0. So here we go. First, I'm going to start with a rock, a very normal rock. This has a density of about three, maybe a little less than three. Put it in the water and it will sink. Then I have a, this is a piece of uh, a cube of a type of plastic. This density is probably about 1.4. Drop it in and it sinks because if it is denser than one, it will go to the bottom. I have this, this is uh, significantly denser. This is a cube of brass. So this is a density of about 8.5. I'm actually gonna be careful. I don't want it to break the bottom, but if I put it in, you see it hits the bottom. So we have 8.5, 1.4, and about three, and they are all on the bottom. They're equally on the bottom. On the bottom is on the bottom. So even though that's a lot denser, it's not more on the bottom. It didn't sink more all on the bottom because they're denser than the water, which is one. Now let's get into some things that float in water. So here I go, P piece of two by four right here. So that is a piece of spruce and we'll look how that floats right there. Um, maybe I'm gonna call it about half in the water, half out of the water. All right, now I have a different piece of wood. It's called Ipe. Now you see it's a different color, but it's definitely different density. I can really notice the difference. When I drop that in, Hopefully you can see how that's how that is in the water there. Okay, much more of it is below the surface, very little above the surface, and then this uh, floats. What I'm gonna say, a lot higher in the water. This has a density of around 0.5. This density here is around maybe 0.9. Okay, 0.9. It's less than the the one that is the water, so it floats, uh, but just lower in the water than this. Now. As an extreme example, this is always cool, the styrofoam here. Let me drop the styrofoam in there. And then you really can see, maybe if I push these off to the side um, a bit, you can see the styrofoam. Uh, as you probably know, styrofoam, very low density, very light for its, uh, for its size, and very little of it is below the water. water. Now this density here is below 0 0.1, it's about 0.0. 05, something like that, I believe, but very low, and you can see most of it is above the water, very little below, so low, lowest density, then next, this is the um, higher density of what's floating, and uh, everything that is denser than one sinks to the bottom equally. Okay, I'm Mr. Gazda, thanks for watching.